Jarvis, prepare my suit for the battle. Ambitious request. While I'm more accustomed to ensuring the smooth functioning of your daily routine rather than preparing you for battle, I'll do my best to help. Imagine having ChatGPT level AI running completely offline, no subscriptions and total privacy. Sounds crazy, right? Well, it's not. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up Olama with models like Llama 3.2, Quen 2.5 and even DeepSeek R1 all running locally, completely free. Let's get started. Now you might be thinking setting up AI model locals must be complicated. Nope. With the right tools, it's surprisingly simple and in this guide, I'll walk you through the entire setup step by step. We'll cover installation, model selection, web search integration and even voice interaction where we will give it the voice of Jarvis from Iron Man. And the best part, this setup gives you premium AI features without any subscriptions. Stick with me because by the end you'll have a fully functional local assistant. Before we dive into the installation, let me quickly explain what Olama is and why it's such a game changer. Olama is a lightweight framework that lets you run powerful AI models locally on your machine. No cloud servers, no privacy risks, just fast and efficient AI right at your fingertips. And today we are making it even more powerful by integrating open web UI, web search and multimodal capabilities. Ready? Let's set it up. So first we'll be installing Olama. Just go to olama.com and then click on this download button. It will take you to the download page and you can select the download as per your operating system. I'm running on Windows, so I'll select Windows and then I'll click on download for Windows. So 768 MB download, which will take few minutes to download. And once you download it, you just run it as any setup.exe and it will install it in your user directory. Now the second tool which we'll require is Pinocchio. This is a very powerful tool for installing any AI based server and it gives you an option to install everything with a single click and we'll be using this tool for installing open web UI to interact with the Olama and we'll just click on download and it will take us to the download page where we can select the version that is suitable for our operating system. I'm running on Windows. So I'll again select download for Windows and it's just a small installation of around 90 MB that you can download. We'll run the Olama setup exe that we had got. So you just click on install and it will install it for you. It's a one click install for Olama. Pinocchio's installation also you have to just click on it and it will install Pinocchio for you. Once you've installed Pinocchio, when you run it, you will be greeted with this screen. You have to go to discover tab and then here you can search for open web UI and just click on it and then click on download. Now it requires certain dependencies to be installed. You just click on install and it will install the dependencies as well as the open web UI, which is needed. It will take quite a lot of time because it will install almost 13 dependencies. It once the dependencies are installed, you will get this screen. You just click on download and now it will start the script for downloading open web UI. It says that we need to install Olama that we have already installed. And so we'll just click on next. We can check if Olama is running successfully by clicking here. If it is not running, you can go to start menu and search for Olama and then you can run this and then you can press on next. And again, we'll click on install now. The good thing with Pinocchio is that you don't have to do anything at all. You don't have to go to the GitHub repository or install any dependency. It will install everything on its own. So now it is installing Python 3.11, which is required for open web UI and it is doing on its own. So even for non coders, non technical person, it is very easy. You just have to follow certain steps. You don't have to write any code or any command on any terminal. Since we are running this for the first time, it is downloading some more files. I think it has started. Let's try to open this path in our browser now. And we have the open web UI loaded successfully. Let's click on get, get started. Although it is a local server, but it is following all the security policies. We'll have to create an admin account 
and you can see the ui is almost similar to chat gpt's ui i've already downloaded three models from olama which you can see let's select the fastest model which can run on our gpu let's select 3.2 llama with 3.2 billion parameter and its size is around 2 gb so just click on this give me ideas what are five creative things i could do with my kids art and i don't want to throw them away but it's also so much clutter let's see what it answers so you can see it's quite fast we just gave it the question and it was able to give the answer within a few seconds and what you'll observe is when you are loading a new model the first responses would be slow but once you chat with it it will be much faster and let's ask it to write a code as well we'll enable this code interpreter write an html code for a landing page for a travel agency let's see what it writes so you can see the speed is almost as fast as chat gpt but it's only a 3 billion parameter so it won't be so good because chat gpt is almost 700 or 800 billion parameters big and you can see it even has execution window which was introduced in chat gpt quite late and you it you get it embedded here you can see it's a very basic page but you don't expect anything more than this in terms of coding from a model like this let's ask it to give us tips for overcoming procrastination and you can see for such general question the speed is quite fast now let's try to see if we can use the current 2.5 coder and get better results we'll click on new chat we'll select quen 2.5 coder and we'll again ask it to write html code for landing page for travel agency i think first prompt it will take some time to load the model and you can go to the task manager and, and see model is loaded so 14 billion parameters is around 10 gb big and it is a quantized model so it will be slower but let's see what it is able to come up with and you must be thinking why is it so slow because a typical code consumes a lot of tokens so it is processing a lot of tokens currently the model to ensure that we don't have such waiting times we'll have to use models up to 7 billion parameters which would be faster on 16 gb vram but still i just want to know uh, how well this 14 million model is able to perform locally in terms of writing code i think it has started uh, answering now but you can see the token per second speed is quite slow because it is a larger model as the size of the model grows the vram requirement goes up it is writing the code but it is taking its own time so finally it has completed the code and it took quite a while so which makes it clear that it is not suitable to run models which are larger than 7 billion and just better than what was generated by our llama model now let's try to give it internet capability we'll ask it do you have access to internet currently it doesn't have access to internet what we'll do is we'll uh, go to admin panel now go to settings so what we'll do is we'll try to configure web search here we'll select engine as google next we have to get our google psc api key just copy this keyword here and open a new tab and then search it open the first link that you get and then click on get a key and then create a new project you can say open web ui or any other name you want to give it and it has generated the key for us we just click on show key and just copy this key and paste this key here now next what we want is google psc engine id just copy this and search for the first link and then click on this link and then add a new search engine again give it a name you can write open web ui or any other name which you want search the entire web include image search and then click on create you can enable safe search if you want let's enable that as well and then click on create just copy this id from here and then paste it here and once you have done that just toggle this web search engine button and this will bring you these two options you can keep the search result count to 50 and then click on save so open a new chat now and then you have this web search button that you have in chat gpt and perplexity and other tools as well we'll just enable it and we'll ask it who has won the delhi election and we'll select the model as 3.2 llama 
and you don't need a large model for internet searches because even small models are capable of doing this searching the internet and then summarizing the information you can see it has already changed our query to daily election winner 2025 so it has understood that the current year is 25 and then it is searching for that it has searched the internet and found the information and summarized for us now how do you download these models just go to olama's website and then click on models now this would be sorted through the popularity and suppose we want to download deep sea here you have the billion parameter as a drop down depending on the vram you have suppose if you have a 8 gb or 6 gb graphic card then you can download this if you have a very basic pc with 2 gb vram or around 1.5 gb vram you can even download this one you just select it and then you get this command here suppose if you want to download 1.5 billion parameter deep sea car one then you just open the command prompt copy this command from here and then you just paste it here and it will automatically download the model for you so it's a 1.1 gb model and it will download within few minutes and then you would be able to find that model here as soon as it is added in olama now let's cover the most interesting part of this video. Let's try to give Open Web UI the voice of Jarvis from Iron Man. So for that, first open the admin panel from here and then go to the settings tab. Then you have this settings for audio. Now there are two parts to it. One is speech to text where your speech would get converted to the text and then you have TTS which is text to speech. AI's text would be converted to speech. So open web UI already has this whisper local AI here but it doesn't work that fast. So we will use this API from DeepGram. So for that you have to open DeepGram. So just Google DeepGram on Google and you will be taken to this website. You can register by clicking on sign up and then you can log in. You can log in with your Google account. Now the interesting thing is they give you $200 as credit to test anything which is enough for personal usage. So let's click on create api key again we'll give open web ui as our project name and then we'll create our key now we have this key we'll just copy this and we'll go to our admin panel and we'll select deepgram and then we'll just paste our api key here now let's do the tts settings so this is the important part where we would be using the jarvis voice for that we'll select 11 labs now for that you can open the 11 labs link in the description and then go to the app now to clone the jarvis voice you need to be on starter plan which costs around five dollar per month then go to voices and then create on add a new voice and then you can select instant voice clone which doesn't take much time and then you can select the sample audio now i'll share a google link for these jarvis voices which you can use and then you just click on next and then you just give it the name Jarvis you select the language which is English for us and then you have to give this disclaimer and then you can save this voice so we can now listen to the voice which we have just created let's see entrepreneurship is the journey of building dreams into reality now you can see that it has the voice of Jarvis but it doesn't sound that witty which Jarvis is famous for so let's try to give it that persona as well so for that what I've done is I've asked chat GPT to write a persona for an AI voice agent who can talk like Jarvis from Iron Man movie now it has given this detailed persona that we'll be using later now the next step is to configure the API in open web VI. for that we'll click on our profile then we'll click on api keys and then you can create an api key from here and then click on create now you can copy this api key and then go back to your text to speech engine settings and select 11 labs from here and then enter api key here another important thing is to note here is once you enter the key here it doesn't show the available models to you so you have to again select something else and then again select 11 labs now it will load the available voice for your api key now we can find our java here we'll select that and then we'll select 11 labs 2.5 flash which is the fastest model from 11 labs and then we'll click on save now once the settings are saved we should be good to go now what we'll do is we'll copy the persona that we had created from chat gpt we'll click on a new chat and we'll paste this persona here so now it has understood the persona that we have assigned to it let's try to call jarvis and see what it has to say so you just have to click on this button jarvis prepare my suit for the battle. 
ambitious request. While I'm more accustomed to ensuring the smooth functioning of your daily routine rather than preparing you for battle, I'll do my best to help. However, before we begin, might I suggest a slight adjustment? You may not actually be going into battle, but perhaps preparing for an important meeting or presentation. Assuming that's the case, let me see what I can do. Whirs and beeps, I'm now adjusting your suit to ensure it's looking its absolute best. The tie is perfectly knotted, the trousers are pressed, and the jacket is tailored to perfection. If you'd like to add a personal touch, I can also suggest some subtle yet effective accessories, such as a pocket watch or a pair of cufflinks that complement your shirt. Shall I proceed with the final preparations? <laughs> this is hilarious, guys. I never expected this kind of response. So we have built quite an exciting thing here with the combination of open web UI, Llama, Deepgram, and 11 Labs. This is quite an experience, guys. You should try this. <laughs> Let's talk about choosing the right model for systems with 4 to 6 GB of VRAM. I recommend starting with 5.3 or Mistral 7B. These models are champions of efficiency. The 5.3 for instance requires only about 2.5 GB of VRAM and handles an impressive range of tasks. Let's understand the model nomenclature. Let's look at Mistral 7B, which has many variants. Understanding model names can be confusing. So here's what the key terms mean. 7B, the number refers to models parameters in billions. More parameters mean better understanding and longer context windows. Instruct indicates the model is optimized for instruction following tasks. FP16 uses 16-bit floating point precision for faster computation and lower memory usage. Q is for quantized, optimized for lower memory usage. A higher number means better accuracy but slower response times. V is for version, indicates the iteration of the model. Newer versions usually have improvements. For instance, a model named Mistral 7B Instruct FP16 Q4 V.2 is a 7 billion parameter model optimized for following instructions using 16-bit floating point precision, quantized at level 4 for efficiency efficiency version 0.2 meaning it has received updates. Let's talk about hardware recommendations for running Olama smoothly. You need a processor which is Intel i5 or AMD Ryzen 5 or higher you need a RAM of minimum 8 GB but 16 GB is recommended. GPU at least 4 GB of VRAM of an Nvidia graphic card is needed but to run models with 7 billion or 12 billion of parameters you would need a graphic card like Nvidia RTX 3060 which I am using which has 12 GB of VRAM and I'll put the link of that product in the video description and i would recommend that you use q4 or higher quantized models for better performance start with smaller models like phi 3 and experiment with different options each model has its strength code llama for coding quen 2.4 general conversation etc